For question one, the Farmer-Sidorowicz filtering strategy leverages a stable and unsealed manifold structure of the attractor to remove noise from a chaotic trajectory. And this is true. Remember, it moves a cluster of points forward in time to stretch it along the unstable manifold and backward in time to stretch it along the stable manifold and looks at the intersection of what was left of this noise ball forward and backwards in time stretch along the stable and unstable manifolds, giving you a more precise location of where the point actually lies. For question two, Low pass filtering of chaotic systems is a bad idea because it can remove signal, not just noise. And this is true. Remember that chaotic trajectories can be thought of as having infinite period. That means all frequencies are present in the chaotic trajectory. This means if you did a low pass filter, you would effectively be removing a good portion of the actual signal, not just the noise. So doing low pass filtering of a chaotic time series is generally a very bad idea. For question three, we're interested in the following topology-based approaches for identifying noisy points in trajectory from a dynamical system. Part A asks, if the forward images of two nearby points are not close, one of those two points may have been perturbed by noise. And this is true. If the forward images of two nearby points are not close, this would violate the continuity properties of the dynamical systems we're looking at. For part B, if the attractor contains isolated points, they may be the result of noise. And this is also true. Attractors, at least the attractors that we're looking at in this course, are connected sets. If you have points that are isolated, that is, they're not connected to the rest of the set, this may mean that that point is simply perturbed by noise, or that's a noisy point.